Hi there, it's been a while since I didn't make YouTube video. The reason is because uh, I did feel good these past days, but I'm back to bring you the best of me. So without wasting time, what we're gonna see, um, I'm gonna teach you in this new video lesson. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make a custom search in WordPress without plugin. So guys, without wasting time, let's begin. Just before jumping to the code editor, I'm gonna show you the solution of what we're gonna build in a Y. For example, if we type um, finance, okay, and press enter, this is the post we're gonna see. And if we get back, we type post, we press enter, this is the post we're gonna see. Okay, so guys, this is it. And now let's go to the code editor to build this functionality. And now in our code editor, so we have already the search form ready. So this is the search form in the screen. Okay, and uh, we are not going to focus on the HTML and CSS part. Okay, we are just going to build the functionality. And now to begin, we're gonna add action to the form, okay? And open and close PHP, okay? We're gonna echo escape underscore URL, okay? And here, home home underscore url so this is it and the method to add the method will be get okay and now just save and um just other thing to do um in order to work so we have just starting the process we add the, the action in the form, we add the method, and um, in the input search, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add, um, I mean, a parameter, name, S. So name S, this is very, very important for WordPress, okay? So um, without this name S, so it will not work even you do everything this without uh, the the input search without this will not work okay and uh, let's save and uh, what we're gonna do now we're gonna create the search page um that will show the wizard okay and now in our theme folder we're gonna create a no file name search that php so search.php, this is the template that WordPress will use to show all the search results. Okay, now let's call um, get header. Okay, and uh, just below, let's call, okay, get footer. Okay. And uh, in between, we have already um, the HTML uh, search result ready, and I'm gonna paste it here, okay? And um, let me show you how the HTML looks like, okay? And uh, let's go back to our, our site, and now let's refresh, okay? and let's type post and press enter okay this is the this is the way we're gonna uh, show each post in the result so why we see only one post it's because this is only a static okay a static post okay it is not dynamic yet okay but we have three posts in the wordpress um, dashboard okay but here we have one post and now let's make it dynamic 
and now let's go back to our code editor and in our code editor let's go to functions.php this is here we're gonna build the function that will modify the result in the search page okay and now let's create a function name uh search okay um let's say better custom search result okay and uh, the action add action let's get rid of all of these and the action we're gonna add the hook we're gonna use is free underscore get post okay comma and here we're gonna add the name of our functions so we're gonna add another parameter not another our parameter name query okay and we're gonna put the condition copy this parameter if query okay is main underscore query this is wordpress function and is not admin exclamation to say is not is not admin wordpress function and query okay and the query is search is search query okay and um we're gonna use this query okay and set okay post type okay post type uh, okay we're gonna use an array why we use an array is because uh, if you have for example other custom post type you could add it add them for example if i have uh, if i had another custom post type name movie okay i could add this add it like this and so on okay since i have only one i will leave it like this okay and and um what uh, you wanna do um we wanna say um how much i mean how much uh, i mean the result okay the post per page okay and um where we set uh how much post we, we wanna um, output in each page for example um post underscore per page okay for example if you say um um less one that mean we wanna output all uh, um the post in the page but if you say for example um um, for example three and you have more than three posts that mean you want to add pagination um, when we move to the next page and to see three more posts etc okay so it's up to you to design this okay and uh, I think that's it um, one more thing to do we have to I mean um, to go to our search page in order to make it dynamic okay and now let's go to our search page okay this is our search page and here let's open and close php okay and um, enter if have underscore post okay close it here okay and uh, open it here okay let's get rid of these and just cut okay each HTML and put it here and uh, now let's open again PHP okay and while okay why have post okay the post 
ok and open it here ok and in between I'm gonna cut again the HTML ok and in between put it here ok and now let's make our image dynamic ok um, let's get rid of these and uh, you want to add uh, 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 the thumbnail URL ok I'm um, sorry thumbnail URL and uh, this will be the size of your thumbnail ok and the size of our thumbnail will be ok thumbnail okay and um, for SEO purpose okay open and close PHP uh, you want to add uh, title attribute okay and uh, we are going to do the same thing for is that to the, the alt okay and save okay and now this is the title the post you want to add uh, open and close php wanna add the title okay and uh, next thing the next thing you want to do uh, this is here we'll I'll put the date okay open and close php okay the date you could say the time okay the time and uh, as parameter you could add i mean month day and here okay there is other parameter so we could back later okay but for now uh, i will leave it like this and this is the offer okay open and close the the offer okay this is also a wordpress function okay let's output a small text okay in the content okay okay let's open and close php okay we're gonna use a uh, WP three words. This is to, I mean, uh, to control how much text you wanna output. Okay, and a, in in place of in place of text, we're gonna add get the content because because uh, with echo, it you wanna use get the content. Okay, like like so. Okay. So um, uh, the words are much, let's say um, 10 or 12, okay? It's okay. So that's it. So you could add, for example, for the last parameter, you could leave it like this, okay, no problem, okay? And uh, for with more, okay, the button, uh, here in the link, open and close PHP okay and this will be the primal link okay okay so I think that's it guys okay now let's give a try in the front end to see if everything is uh, was properly done and uh, just before giving a try, uh, I forget to add a callback just in case um, uh, there is no uh, result for the search query. Okay, and let's add it now. And uh, you see if have post, okay, like this, if, and uh, you're gonna add else, okay. And remove this, the other, okay, call it braces, and just close, PHP okay and uh, 
open PHP here, okay, and close the curly brace. And in between H1, okay, we wanna add uh, I mean, no, uh, no result, okay, for this search, okay, query. Okay, that's it, guys. And uh, if uh, if there is a result uh, related to the search query, it will show in the search uh, page. But if not, this will appear. Okay, I think that's it. And now let's give a try. A try in the front end of the site. Okay, and uh, let's reload. Okay, we see we have an error. Okay, in functions that PHP online thirty three, and let's go back to see what it is. Okay, um, functions. Okay, okay, I see what it is. This is why um we forget to um to add semi or semicolon and we save and let's get back again to refresh. We load our page. Okay, and we load. Okay everything is okay and now let's give a try for example post okay enter okay as you can see guys um you see we have two posts okay and uh, this we could make i mean um the excerpt i mean we could add less text okay and um let's fix that let's sorry let's fix that okay okay um search okay here i'm gonna add 10 okay save and let's go back again and refresh our page to see uh uh the appearance okay let's load okay as you can see it's better now okay and um let's go back let's say for example findings okay okay and press enter okay as you can see this is the finance post okay guys so um this is how i mean uh, we make a custom search in wordpress